Thunder. The Fighting Chairs? <laughs> the Fighting, uh, their, their mascot seems to be a Viking of some sort. Oh, they really should have the Adirondack Chair as their mascot. It would make a great jersey. Oh, now listen, Rob, I don't want you to piss anybody off from Glen Falls, New York. Oh, yeah. I don't want you to do that. That's okay. really, uh, you know, and it, it could have been, uh, you know, it could have been anybody. You never know. In the in the uh, ECHL, ladies what and gentlemen. What does playoff never... hockey tickets, What, did, what what's the cost on those? Yeah. $36. That's not bad. Second row. Yeah, there you wow, go. Wow, so those are the those are the expensive seats. Will the arena be filled? I have no idea. I doubt it. Well, what are we half? I mean, a it's third? that time of year down here where uh, you know I'll report on Monday. Yeah, let's uh, see. You know, what, what it depends. Of- I don't know whether the you know I am not sure. I have not watched enough of this hockey to know whether the Adirondack, uh, Adirondack Thunder, the Erratic have the same, Thunder, have the same kind of rivalry as say the Allen Americans. Now. Is it? Is this like I'm, the equivalent? I'm not, I'm not exaggerating here. The is Allen it? Americans from uh, from Allen, Texas. Oh, Allen, Texas. I'm, I'm not kidding. These are the real. They have teams, a hockey team the, there in Allen, Texas. There's, <laughs> uh, you know, and they're not all small markets. There's, there's Atlanta. Sure, Atlanta has a team. Uh, you, you're familiar with the Gladiators, aren't you? Oh my God, yes. Yeah, I have a, uh, I have a stocking cap with their logo no. on it. Yeah, it's very, very. And by the way, is this the equivalent uh, a lot of these of logos AAA? may have been, pardon me? Is this the equivalent of like AAA? Is this one notch below the pros? This is one notch be, uh, be below a team the like Myers. the Hershey Bears. Okay. All right. Yeah. So this is like it goes this this level and then up to the. So it would be double A ball. Okay. I can get you. Uh, as I opposed you. to triple A ball. That's, wow. 36 uh, that's what bucks I, seems high for double A. Well, it's second row. I see. So you could probably get like two or three dollars. Well, you've seats. obviously never gone to a Brampton Beast game. <laughs> <laughs> Are they going to have another teddy bear toss? Uh, at Brampton? No, at your game. No, I think the Cincinnati Cyclones will be doing that, or maybe the Colorado Eagles. The Eagles? I'm not quite sure. I'm not, you, don't I'm need not to really do, sure. you don't need to do a promotion like a, a TBT, as we call it in the biz. You don't need to do a teddy bear toss Rob, for playoff ball. you travel down to this world all the time. Have you not seen the Norfolk uh, Admirals play? The Admirals have you not have been a, to one of those games? They have a storied history. What a right. wonderful legacy for the Norfolk Admirals. They're named after the fact that Norfolk, of course, important was shipbuilding. Yes, and important so, was shipping. And I should point out that the Florida Everblades got to the conference finals by defeating the Orlando Solar Bears. Oh, we're the Solar Bears, <laughs> that's, Oscar. That's a, it's that's the an sun. Interesting team. I get Tesla to uh, sponsor them. Yeah. Would you like to know who the uh, Adirondack Thunder beat to get to their conference final? Absolutely, the Manchester Monarchs. From Manchester, New Hampshire. Thank oh, you not Manchester, much. London, Lincoln, in right. England? Right. Oh, because if Absolutely. monarchs, you would think royalty. Oh, hold on. <laughs> what was that? Oh, what no. What was that? I, I heard a... <laughs> that, was a uh, that was the mascot of the Quad City Mallards. <laughs> the Quad City Mallards, <laughs> not to be confused with the uh, Rapid City Rush, the Reading Royals, the South Carolina Stingray. You, Stingrays. you rolled over my favorite one yet. What's because that? Because Rapid City, think of the name. The Rapid City Rush. They're always in a rush because they live in Rapid City. Go fast. All the way up to South Dakota. This isn't the East Coast. No. This is the... This is the whole country. <laughs> it's a this wo- is the whole country. worldwide phenomenon. Manchester yeah. Monarchs. And hey, there's their traditional teams too, like the Tulsa Oilers. Go <laughs> see those Tulsa Oilers. Oh I'm, my God, that's a I'm, that's I'm, a wonderful. Time. I'm looking at the cost of a minor league team, Mike, mm-hmm. in hockey, and it says uh, roughly they're worth twenty one point two million dollars. That's, uh, boy, I tell That's you, low. things have changed. That yeah. is so uh, well, but, low. Well, not low for, it's low for who? Uh, Bill Gates? Yeah. Uh, you know, well, I mean, no, it's, no, it's let's, not let's, low let's, for the average. Well, you, when you started doing that, I'm like, hey, call a couple of friends up and see if we can get together at the local Pizzeria Uno and come up with a, with a team plan. Well, I'll split it four <laughs> ways. Does that include pucks? Well, no, I look at <laughs> I look at the value of, a, of an NBA team. The NBA teams. May include pucks. NBA <laughs> teams go for no less than $2 billion, right? Yeah. No less two than billion two, two now? billion. Two billion. How much are the Redskins valued at now? Easily, probably over a billion by now. Last time I checked, I think five my, years ago was yeah. nine hundred plus million. A little you know, less. We've got a lot Oscar. of listeners. We've got a lot of listeners in Wichita, so yes. I don't want to leave out the Thunder. Up right. There. Mm-hmm. That might be another Thunder. Isn't oh, the I... Adirondack the Thunder as well? Oh no! So you don't do that with the Lee. Let me go right back up. Yeah, you got two Maybe. thunders, Al. Maybe. Come on. Like, yeah. It might be like an old radio station that when they fired a disc jockey, they'd replace him but make him use the same name because oh, they already had the jingle. That. So they I probably just bought a lot of second Are you part time. of the nine? Uh, are you part of the Central Hockey League? Is that what you have? I think you I have. I think we've gone through this before. 
You can buy one of those teams. They have nine teams for half a million dollars. For all nine of them? No, for one of them. Oh, you have to pick one. Yes. Mm. But I bet you can get all nine for $4 million <laughs> if you pay up A front. bundle? Uh, but yeah, we're going to bundle it. We're yeah. going to Costco this league. <laughs> we're going to really give you the Xfinity treatment. We're going to bundle <laughs> nine hockey teams. I like the Fort Wayne Comets. And, uh, you know, and, and, and uh, you know, have you ever been to a Swamp Rabbit game? No. I've, I've played the, the Swamp probably. Rabbit game. You Ooh. haven't been to the Greenville Swamp Rabbits? That's, Greenville, uh, oh boy. Fun. Yeah, it's a, it's a good time. But uh, not like the Brampton Beast. Or the Cyclones. Hey, uh, is it the Brampton Beast just singular? I like when a team is singular, like the Utah Jazz. Hey, guess what I am? Guess what I am? What am I? What am I? A Ram. I'm an Idaho Steelhead. Oh, no. <laughs> They're terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I now? Who am I now? Uh, the uh, Seattle seagull. Swimmer. Seagull. I'm a Jacksonville Iceman. An Iceman. <laughs> I'm an Iceman. Oh. The Jacksonville Iceman. Here Blades I am. Blades of Steel. Okay. Watch that. So who are the Blades? Team. Okay, go ahead. I'm playing. I'm playing. Uh, what's the uh, What's the game people used to play? Charades. The, the charades, but it was a different game. Uh, where Pictionary. Okay, mm. Pictionary. In the In the living room, I'll do my impression of the the, the hockey team. Ready? Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the Flash. <laughs> No, the Indy Fuel. Oh, Indy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. All right. Horsemen. Yeah, the jockeys. You're close. you're close. The Jacksonville Jockeys. Oh, come on. Pay attention. It's the Kansas City Mavericks. Of course. Come on. All right, oh, for go. that, Ready? you should have done James Garner. How about that? <clears throat> I'm a Kansas City Maverick, and I'm about to kick your ass across the state line. I'm wearing the boots that can do it. Here we go. Okay. Bird. Hawk. I believe I can fly. R. Kelly. I am a Kalamazoo <laughs> wing. <laughs> In 2013, Extra the Everblades eyes. were put on the, the on sale, right? Right. Mm -hmm. They were sold for how much? Let's have a guessing game between the You know, here. it's always money with you, Mr. Trump, but let's find out. Okay, how much were they sold for? I will guess $4 million. All right. Because it's a good I'll say, yeah. I'll say, I'll say $6.5 million. Oh, both the team. How about this? Add the Jermaine Arena. Oh, then you're, oh, you're including the arena? 12, 12, 13 million dollars. 15 million. Oh, I'd say 40. 12.6 million dollars. Wow. I got it. Mm. Oh, I got God. it. What's it all valued at now? Wow. That's a 2013 <laughs> just for uh, inflation. Let's say five. I would say at least 20 at this point. Well, they're a wonderful outfit. Mm. Yeah. They're a wonderful outfit. And, and by the way, up in Maine, let's not skip uh, the Maine Mariners up in the uh, city of Portland, which is wonderful. The main really, really I, why do I think teams should cost more? Uh, well, because it's minor league hockey. Yeah. They don't, you know, it's minor league hockey, and they, they're not able to generate the huge amount of income. But ha but owning the arena is huge. Yeah, yeah. Oscar, yeah. you could enjoy this by driving up the street to Reading, Pennsylvania, and go to see the Royals. Oh, the Reading Royals, the Reading Royals game. That I think I'd see a fun. Hershey Bears game over that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, Hershey uh, Bear is a category. Here's another one for you. <laughs> Oh my God! The cross-eyed guys? No, no. no oh, the Toledo, the Toledo walleye. Oh, uh, walleye. <laughs> <laughs> close, do they ever close, share? Close. Do they share a parking lot with the Toledo mud hens? <laughs> How about this one? Here we go. The clappers. Oh, the clap. No. Uh, Chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> the wheeling nailers. Why is that clapping? What was that? Because oh, he's nailing. That's he's what sex nailing that's somebody. What sex oh sounds yeah, like. mm, I forgot. I did we forget. forget. He didn't, God, he didn't get that one. That's it. Well, you were applauding. <laughs> it's been so long since anyone's clapped for me. The Frankfurt Frankenstein's. I'm from Utah. The what am I? Provo <laughs> Monsters. No, no. What says this? What bear, does bear, this? Bears, bears, bears. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. More, uh, grizzly, grizzly bears. Specific. Grizzly Bruins. Bears. Grizz, get, 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 yeah, grizzly bears. The, the grizzlies. Utah Grizzlies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> grizzlies. <laughs> Utah Grizzly. All right. All right. Wichita. Okay. We, okay. we, we did this one before, so this is not, not going to be difficult. All right. Ooh. Storms. Ooh, yeah, the Wichita yeah, but, Storm. But, but Tornadoes. What, what happens in a storm? What happens Tornadoes. in a storm? Tornadoes. No. Rain. No, what happens? Thunder. It's light. It's light. Yes, yeah. Rob Speedwagon. Thunder. Thunder, the, yep, tin man. Thunder. the Wichita Thunder. The Thunder. Man. Yes, uh, God never, ne oh. Oz never did give anything to the Tin Man. So that's it. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, who are we playing? We're playing the Got Adirondack jipped. Thunder, and uh, we'll be there with my little. Will guy you root for the home team? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Good question. No, I'll be rooting for Adirondack. Well, I mean, they might have better merch. You never can tell. No, look at all the teams, though. It's a, it's a, it's a major award. Yeah, but, it's if, a major, but if you it's got a major an, competition. An, an Adirondack hockey sweater, it would play better in Maine. Yeah. No, no, because Adirondack is New York. Yeah, but Glen you're, Falls, you're more New York. North. What, 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 more that, north. How would that? I would, if I play, got a Maine Mariner sweater, 
And yeah, hey, but, thanks for saying sweater. Hey, thanks, Mr. Hockey, for yeah, saying sweater, yeah, which is what we yeah, say. Yeah, that's what we in, say. In hockey Us circles, white it's a hockey sweater. Hockey fans. <laughs> I, you see, I, now I feel bad because earlier I was talking and I called it a blouse. That's not right, is it? <laughs> Blouses. <laughs> That's you know, a joke, somehow, Mike. Somehow you've annoyed me. <laughs> <laughs> and today you know, is a day like no other. Yeah, but if, <laughs> but if you had a New York one, you'd be closer to Maine. Yeah, and also, saying. don't you, you have, have access. you have Adirondack chairs? Well, Speedwork is a pain in the ass. Oh, I sent you I, that. Did I, you get it? I yeah, I got it. Do you have it handy? I do. Of course you do. Your like buddy you. Rob Speedwork is the biggest pain in the ass I've ever known. <laughs> <laughs> do you? How great is it That's huge. that you know when you hear that, this legend, yes. Ed Koppel, You're doing play your it job. again. Rob's got that forever. Your Here buddy Rob Spiewak is the biggest pain in the ass I've ever known. <laughs> That's why so Ted cool. Koppel is a genius, yeah. ladies and yeah. gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, my, my sympathies to all the other teams, but uh, you know, for you Allen Canada people, the oh, Allen Texans, uh, I think the Americans are going to be spot on next year. I just <laughs> hope that the uh, Everblades can break the Adirondack curse. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, well, dogged you know them I, for I, years. How about next year we uh, we do an appearance at the Allen Event Center? I, I love wonder, that. I, I wonder if their sticks there. are made of teak. <laughs> Beautiful teak. Why would Andrew? their sticks be made of teak? Like an Adirondack because chair. Because the best Adirondack oh. chairs are made of teak. I understand. No, I believe I it's understand, a composite Bruce. material. Is it? Yeah, it, w- it weathers oh, come well. Come on, <laughs> we'll never need painting. Hey, would you like They're to go to Canada? To look it's like nice that. up yeah. in Canada. We can go up to uh, Brampton. No, Brampton, Ontario. Boo! Come on now. What's the team? Super, Super Troopers. I've got a tic- I've got a seat with your name for the Brampton Beast in the Powerade Center. <laughs> <laughs> That's official. It's the Michael Mara Show. You can listen to the Michael Mara Show at www.michaelmarashow. Stay tuned for an outstanding entertainment program. It's the <laughs> Michael Mara Show. Let's get down to business. From the entertainment capital of the world. Come on, I want to show you the grounds. Beautiful, huh? Mm-hmm. This place used to be a golf course. I never cared for the game myself. But I love grass. And of course, the fortune to keep like this with the mowing and the trimming. These are my in-laws. Trimming. Hello? They can't hear nothing. Uh-huh. Enough socializing. Jimmy, I'm thinking of giving you another managing job. You kind of let me down on that San Antonio job. I freely admit, sir, I had no right to, to sell off the team's equipment like that. That won't happen again. Let me be blunt. Are you still a fall-down drunk? No, sir, I've, uh, I've quit drinking. You've seen the error of your ways. No, I just can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> your drinking is funny. You're a young man, Jimmy. You still could be playing. If you just would have laid off the booze. It's not exactly like that. I hurt my knee. You fell out of a hotel. That's how you hurt it. There was a fire. Which you started, which I had to pay for. Oh, no, I was going to send you a thank you card, Mr. Harvey, but I wasn't allowed anything sharp to write with. Look, Jimmy, I want you to manage one of the new girls' baseball teams. You step out of the dugout before every game. You wave your little hat in the air. You give the people a thrill. Why don't we just get an organ grinder? I can hop around and do a little dance. If your knees are up to it, go ahead. It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Mike O'Mara, Rob Spiewak, Oscar Santana. (laughs) And now, from his office chair, here's Mike. We are live from the heart of our nation's capital in the Podcast Village Studios. This is The Mike O'Mara Show. The Mike O'Mara Show, a radio show and podcast with a worldwide network of listeners who get it. If you're here, you're in the know. Listen 24-7 on our new Playapod app uh, designed by Mr. Todd Moore. It has great media controls. It has so much neat stuff. You can download it on iTunes or at the Google Play Store. All items for our weekly mailbag can be sent to Rob with two B's at MikeOMeraShow.com. And you can call us anytime, even when it's not Wednesday. Right. <laughs> at uh, 888-920-MORE. That's 888-920-6673. The Mike O'Mara Show is on now and brought to you by one of my all-time favorites, and uh, you just have a couple of days. Okay, slackers, really. If you're hearing my voice now, let let me just remind you, Mother's Day is this Sunday. What the heck are you doing? How come you haven't ordered your Sherry's Berries? That's two days. Mm. Two days. Two. Come on. Come on. Two days away. You get (laughs) 
So remember, a gift from Sherry's Berries shows your mom oh that uh, you put thought into her gift. Mom will love it. I swear. You loved yours, didn't you, Mom? Yes, Mom. That was my mom up in heaven. <laughs> wow. Right now, our listeners can get fresh and delicious Sherry's Berries starting at $19 plus shipping and handling. Or check this out. Yes. You can double your berries for just ten dollars more. What? Just ten dollars. That's doppelberries. We call it doppelberries because mm. it's German for double. Yes. And Rob made a joke about it. Time is running out, so get your berries while they're still available. Your berries will arrive in Sherry's Berry signature gift box with a beautiful ribbon. No gift wrap required. All right? Because you, God knows if you're waiting this long, you didn't want to wrap it either. Yeah, you don't have one of those stick-on bows <laughs> laying around. Come on. We mentioned these are fresh, juicy berries dipped in milk, dark, white, chocolatey goodness. They're topped with rich chocolate chips, chopped nuts, and signature swizzles. You choose your guaranteed delivery date. It's 100% guaranteed, but you have to act now because it's a yeah. big holiday. All right? In this house, for the love of God, it's it's like we ought to have a parade on the street. <laughs> uh, there's only one way to get this amazing deal for mom. Fresh dip strawberries starting at $19.99, plus shipping and handling. And remember, you can doppel the berries for just $10 more. That's all it takes. You can be a hero. You can do it. There's still time. What are you waiting for? Hurry and order today. Mother's Day is this Sunday. That's only two days away. Visit berries.com. That's B-E-R-R-I-E-S dot com. Then click on the mic in the upper right-hand corner and enter our code TMOS. Berries.com. The code TMOS. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, my God. Do it. She's holy Todd Moore. Do it. What's, what's his deal? Oh, he's just all over Facebook. He's all... You know, I don't know. What, what, what does Todd want to do? Does Todd want to go work for a political television station? Well, you talk to him. You're his best friend. What the hell's wrong with him? He's constantly provoking, provocative, and, and he's constantly getting in these debates. And yeah. he's, he relishes the battle. Is uh, When did Todd – I've known Todd for a number of years. When did Todd uh, get so active? Have a political on, opinion? Uh, yes. Well – No, 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 no. Now, see, what? you – you are being snarky. I'm answering your question. Be, no, have a, I have a political opinion, but yeah, I am not Some people will be like, man, Mike, I when am, did he decide to get involved? No, that's wrong. I have, but but I haven't constantly been engaged. <laughs> he, I, I and put I think my opinions Mike, up. There's a tone. Hold on, let me finish. I put my opinions up and choose to just shut up and just move on. Todd likes to get into the fray. <laughs> that is such a, a blasphemous lie, Mike. All no, you it's do, not. You engage on a regular blasphemous basis. Blasphemous is Todd Moore some you, sort of deity? You, you, is he is. some sort of deity? You yeah, come is. in and you're like, ah, oh, I had this I do. You, you told me a long time ago, you said, confine this to a political show, so it, I did. We started I decided the I would work, show. I would do seven shows a week, and I would do a political show, and that's where I put it now. And by the way, <laughs> if you listen, this is a good plug for Political Persuasions, yes. which, a show that Todd Moore has asked me on numerous occasions that, to, to join. But As a regular? Another, I don't need Tucker Carlson coming into it. <laughs> I don't need, I don't need Tucker balance, Carlson man. light coming into my zone. What if Todd uh, wore a bow tie? By the way, on political persuasions this week, I give our president credit where credit is due. Yes. Yes, you do. Right? Yes. I believe. Was, would it not be the most positive? Uh, I you believe know, Oscar the, will be happy to know that. The takeaway was Since this. he loves Donald that, Trump so much. Well, he's that, just getting the, stuff done, you know. The, the, the <laughs> takeaway from political persuasions, because I was there. I'm the Imagineer of the show. Yes, the, you are. The, the takeaway Rob, was. Rob produces Rob Disney. The, uh, the takeaway was Donald Trump has a good week, but handles it in a typical Trump fashion. It was the the that would was, be that would be exactly right. Yeah, so that's it how, would that's, be. And, and I'm I'm talking. I'll, I'll you, it's we we discuss a lot of different things. We talk about the uh, prisoners, hostages, yes, returned from uh, North Korea. We talk yes. about. Yeah. So getting back to Todd though, but Todd was never into this. Uh, he, he may have had opinions, but now he's just constantly on online. And I I want to know when did the flip occur? When did he become? Uh, so active because it's it's a new phenomenon. Uh, he hasn't done it for his whole. Do you, is, you is remember it because, the patent troll situation? The patent troll th- oh, okay, yeah. That's okay. What it is. Well, you know, and I was going to ask. I was going to follow up with this. He is Todd is incredibly smart, genius like. Yes. Uh, and and so well, let's yes. for the sake of the story, Mike. Let's go with it. All right. Okay. All right. And so is he sometimes laser focused? So when he was focused oh. on patent trolling, that's all he talked about. He actually. If, if if I don't want to speak out of turn, you should probably ask him these questions. Is what I know, right? Okay. This is well, my, we need to get him back on the show. Yes, so yes, we'll we skip ahead to the end of this a little bit. 
and say we need to get Todd on the show. Yes, at some point. we do. We do. My now, now, let me ask you before we go on. Yes. Do you think it should be this show or should it be the political show? PP. Not here. Not here. Because we're going to start screaming at each other. Yeah. Well, you you will. And he will. Oh, he's, he will, yeah, he will, he's so he measured. Buff, he will he's so with, measured with and responsible. Well, um, oh, what? Excuse me. Excuse me. So you're already picking your winner and you're picking your no, sides? I, first, Mike, this is not a competition. You ever said that about your boy here that you, Mike will rebut you with class and tact? No. <laughs> Mike will, no. Mike will no. attack you with a you're hatchet. Full, you're full of bluster and. No, I'm not. Passion. I think I. My 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 thought. I I have. I I listen to you right now. He's God. describing Todd as like you one of the employees. Me. He's describing Todd as like one of the employees at Bernie Streeter's Arby's. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna rebuff and, you. And Todd what? will <laughs> rebut you. And was it rebuff or rebut? Which one was rebuff? it? Rebuff. Rebuff. Well, it's rebut. <laughs> well, the, you know what? That's the correct we, term. Damn it! We really don't have time to get into the new. <laughs> what about rebute? <laughs> what about rebute? Rebute is not a word. Damn it! <laughs> rebuke is a word. Rebuke. Yes, exactly. A rebuke, oh, a rebuke, is, is, a, a rebuke is kind of a disciplinary action. Yeah, correct? he was rebuked. Yeah, I he believe you're rebuked. right. Well, and rebut yeah. is rebuttal. Rebuff. Rebuff. Uh, well, look it up. Look rebuff up and rebut up. Rebuff means yeah. you've stopped somebody. Now, do we have anybody that can do that quickly? Well, I, I'm talking. Could, I know you're in the middle yes. of debating. No so one else can't. is moving. No uh, one is. No, <laughs> no, no they're not. Right That's what I'm trying to. <laughs> oh, we'll just wing it. Duh. All right. So what were you saying? So I asked Todd the same question in our private life, right? Offline. Oh, good. And okay, so that's I said, why I'm bringing and it And I said, it. hey, man, what happened to just going to B-dubs, yeah. dr- drinking uh, some Jack and Cokes, and eating some wings, yeah. and talking about apps? You know what happened is when he said that, Todd rebuffed him, which means to reject someone or something in an abrupt or ungracious manner. So Damn. he wouldn't rebuff me, Oscar. See, so it would yeah. be the opposite He would rebuke that. you. He would no, re- rebut me. You rebut. You know, rebut I don't like rebut, rebut. Sounds like butt a sex. rebuttal. A <laughs> rebuttal is a response well, to an argument. Yes. We definitely don't want right. that on this show. No, Do you have? Yes, 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 have a, yes. Go ahead. <laughs> which one of you? Rebut. Which one of the? Say your name. I have noun. it right here. Okay. Pony. Go ahead, Pony. Rebut then. is to either drive back or repel or claim or prove that evidence in an accusation is false. Good. It's Bingo. an act of speech. Uh, he yes. shall rebut Thank you. Um. So, Todd told me he's like, look. For two years, all I did in my job, outside of his regular job, right, Mm -hmm. the time and hours he put in was go to Capitol Hill and lobby for this patent troll reform. And as he went to congressmen and senators' office and uh, glad-handed and explained to them the plight of a small business owner and and patent troll, and I'm sorry, patent reform and what patent trolls are doing to innovation in this country. He would get one answer, and then he'd see the vote of these uh, lawmakers. It would be co- the complete opposite. And did the lawmakers, uh, obviously, on one side, piss him off more than another side? Uh, yes, they upset him. They also they upset him because— So the Democrats pissed him off. Oh, I, can't, I don't know that for sure. Well, he seems to always take uh, the, uh, again, uh, the I, right-wing side. I, that would have been a good question to ask him. I, I just said, oh, well— I said you know I'm I right. Said, I said, well, what, ha- what happened? And he said, well— he goes. I dug. I dug deeper, and I realized that everybody was on the take. Everybody okay, was. Well, everybody everybody's on the take. On the take. Yes. Tell them to spread the wealth a little bit. So, yeah, and he's, I said, "What do you mean by the t- by the take?" He goes, "Big pharma, who do- didn't want the patent troll reform to come across every time uh, it would come up for vote. Big pharma would lean in and pressure the lawmakers because they were getting dollars well, for their campaigns." Okay. All right. I still don't make. Am I boring connection. you now? I'm giving you an answer. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm. It's I'm, not the I answer you make, wanted. Because no, it's not that, that he, it's not he, the that answer he, I want. It doesn't make sense because it is a an answer that doesn't uh, explain his behavior. But if I was to go deeper with this, that would be for political persuasion. Okay. All right. Uh, but it seems like he likes to. Now I know this, and you know this. Yeah. He likes to argue. Yeah, he likes to engage. He likes to yes. engage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, and so that's and and you know he likes to engage. When you tell him not to engage, of course. When you tell him to stop engaging, yeah. he still likes to. It's like, it's like He's everybody a in my life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. What's Is he that? T- who's, everybody in my life that I work with. Who's taller, Todd Moore or Chris Freights? Chris Freights, but not by much, probably, because Todd is pretty tall. Yeah. That would be a fun contest for political persuasions. Too. Do you mean everybody you work with likes to argue? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, because they're great at it. I'm actually. That's good. It'd be boring otherwise. But you're good at it. I'm I'm not as great as you oh, and Chad. Oh, you're pretty good. No. Well, not as me. Chad and I, you know, I mean, if you put Chad and I in a room together, we'd come out in a in a paper bag and a, <laughs> it'd be a bunch of bloody goo. 
I mean, it would. There it is would. no mercy with your arguments. No, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's just, well, it's just because when it starts, it's kind of like it's now. It's not physical. No, no, but it, no, but it no. is like you don't you, you take no prisoners. You and know? you know, and that you know, and you. I, I worked with a guy that taught me how to do that. We, uh, anyway, yeah, yeah Buzz isn't here Stunning. anymore. <laughs> uh, but you brought it I up in the past. My is that <laughs> uh, my cats? I take them for a walk. You, you uh, buzz of uh, but the uh, the thing you brought it up. It's a, it's a challenging aspect in marriage because we're yeah. all really good at arguing, and when the wife wants to pick a fight, sometimes you got to throttle it back because you'll end a marriage. Oscar, Easily. yes. I think this will be a boon for uh, political persuasion. It will be. Yes, again. I think we you will have. Todd you asked Todd you? Moore if he would like to come on, not, and he has one opportunity. Yeah. Next week's mm-hmm. political persuasions. All right. Okay. It's going to be the because there might be a chance that uh, we'll, we'll make sure that we're going to get it done. Yeah, we'll probably not on miss one, on but, Trump's best week ever. Uh, yeah, coming off Trump's best yeah. week ever. May seventeenth, yes. Thursday, be, May seventeenth. That, that'll be yes. uh, you know, and it's, so he's that, in uh, well, San Fran right now. Todd is. Okay, good. When he comes back, tell him he's invited. Okay. I'll put him on. He's wanted. He I'm asked me in right New now. Orleans. Next he Thursday. He asked me in New Orleans wanted. if he wanted to come on. Next oh, you Thursday, know, you have to. Hey, excuse me. I don't run the entire operation. I work collaboratively and make e- sure e. it's okay with uh, Mr. Freights. All right, Mr. I'll let you Freights deal with is that. Fine I'm with not it. doing uh, that. That's enough. That's enough work. What? What? I thought you talked Rob, to him. Rob will do it. Rob will do it. I talked to Freights enough. Make sure it's okay with Freights. I will text Freights. I will. And he'll say, okay, buddy. Hey, man. All right. Did I just ask Todd to come on Political Persuasion? Yeah. Yes, I you almost demanded it. I got a bad headache. You need some ibuprofen. You blacked bad out. Headache. He's gonna be Trump's having a good week. Ass. You're stroking out. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I, I don't Get know. the paddle. <laughs> Help me, Rhonda. Help me, Rhonda. Help me. Help me. Get Help the me. paddles and the ibuprofen. Yeah. Uh, we will take a break. <laughs> when we come back, uh, I'd like to ask a medical question about my dog. Okay. Oh, uh, yes. Who's planning on flying soon. And uh, I want to ask uh, you boys what you think, because uh, and I'll open it up to our listening audience. Who okay, can't communicate with us because they don't pick up that phone except on Wednesday. <laughs> That's okay though. <laughs> we'll take a break, <laughs> and uh, we'll come right back on the Michael Mary Show. To rock and roll. It's political persuasions. Hey, it's Chris Freitz with political persuasions. This Hi. week, Mike and I talk about Trump bringing home the Americans held captive by North Korea. See? Congressional polls—they are a tightening. And bomb, 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 Moran is back on the charts. You can download <laughs> Political Persuasions at politicalpersuasions.com, iTunes, Stitcher, and wherever fine podcasts are found. A broadcast journalist wants to be a DJ, a <laughs> software developer wants to be a political pundit. You got a talk show host, Shock Jock, that wants to do a political show. What's wrong with the world? Can anybody just be happy with what they do? For God's got a sake. Shock Jock who's talking politics, but then has to do Jackie Mason. It's a yes. funny world. Yeah, I do Jackie Mason. <laughs> <laughs> on the show this week. Thank you. Uh, welcome back. Uh, and by the way, it was not Benjamin Netanyahu. No, it no, was it wasn't. Sheldon Adelson. <laughs> welcome back uh, to the Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by Cornerstone First Financial. With interest rates on the rise, now is the time to refinance your home so you can take cash out and pay off debt before rates go even higher. It makes sense, but it's not an easy process. And if you don't know what you're doing, you're dead in the water. But you don't need to be an expert because Cornerstone First Financial has all the expertise you need. If you're buying, selling, or refinancing, all you need is Cornerstone First. They know exactly what to do. So even if you don't, you'll still be okay. Cornerstone First Financial is here to help. They can figure out your best financial moves and get them done for you so you save money. I promise you, they will give you sound advice. Click their banner on our website or call Cornerstone First Financial, 202-625-1221. Mention TMOS and receive a free appraisal at closing. Personal attention from application to closing. You really need to act now. The longer you wait, the more it's going to cost you. Licensed in Maryland, D.C., Virginia, Florida, Georgia, and Colorado. Don't wait! Now is the time to call Cornerstone First Financial, and they are our neighbors, and uh, we appreciate them Good guys. supporting the show. I would appreciate our listeners appreciating them. Oh, yeah. And uh, you've been doing it so far. We want you to do it even more, and we love that relationship. Welcome back to uh, the Mike O'Mara Show. In one week's time, I will be making a pilgrimage up north, and uh, there are a few things at play here. Because of Beluga, our pug's advanced age, mm-hmm. uh, I don't know exactly how old he is in dog years, nor do I even know how old he is in regular Isn't years. Isn't it about 12? 12 sounds right. Which, which would which mean roughly 84? 
84. And he has he's, a, he's a, had a pampered life. Yes. He's had a beyond pampered life. His feet he don't even... Carried, a, he is carried to bed every Yeah, evening. his feet... His he's feet, capable of walking, by the way. He he's walks all over the He's got the feet of a prince. Yeah, he does. And he... Uh, yes, Soft, his supple un, feet. Yeah. And his Hooves. untrimmed nails click, clacking click, on the click, laminate click. floor yeah. because I can't afford real tile or hardwood. And so he uh, <laughs> is carried into the boudoir every night. And uh, and and sometimes you lift with he your sleeps knees? in the marital bed. Huh? Do you lift with your knees when you pick him up? I I don't pick him up. This oh. this is a rude question. What's the difference yeah. in sound between a tile and laminate, or or real wood and laminate floor? Yeah, uh, probably nothing. Probably it'd probably be exactly the I same. I think you get a sharper click sound on a laminate because there's no really? give to it. A wood wood has a little bit of give. So yeah. it's more base to it. No, more. And sharp. by the way, click, click, I don't click. know. Oh, okay. I, all I know is that's the kind of floor I have. Okay, it's, it's the laminate's it's the, come a long way, Mike. It's manufactured a long wood. Way. Long it way. Is. It's yeah. supposed to be more durable. Not and the laminate we grew that. up with. No. That's not the laminate. No, that's no it doesn't come in a roll actually, anymore. Yeah, and it was. Uh, it, it was uh, not. It was not that significant an expense. So we we made the choice. Well, for no durability. expense was spared. Spared no expense. <laughs> <laughs> Jurassic Mike. Yeah. Uh, so the dog. Laminate everywhere. The dog is, uh, you know, been with us a long time. I picked the dog out at a puppy mill. No, I'm sorry. At a, <laughs> at a road, uh, a house off the side of Route 40 in New Jersey, where a wooden sign was out in front of the house that said AKC Puppies. And in the back, in a kiddie pool, uh, they had the mama with uh, all the little puppies. Uh, and the kiddie pool was used uh, in an empty kiddie pool uh, yeah. with, like, straw down for the uh, the little puppies. And Beluga came up to us, and uh, I said, how about this uh, little black pug? And Carlos said, oh, my God. And I don't know what I was thinking, but it was early in our relationship. You're we in a haze coming back from AC. That's right. Yeah, we lost. Yeah. We lost. Shocker. We yeah. lost terribly. And, and you uh, doubled down and lost again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, lost again, picked out Blue. Beluga became a one-person dog, <laughs> became enamored of my wife. And On the uh, way home, one last bet on Blue. Black. Yeah, Literally. absolutely. Yeah, it was and a black. We dog. didn't have any money to buy the dog. We had to get like get the movie the the money wired or something like that. I, I remember that. Really? And uh, yeah, that yeah, was a long time was... ago. I don't even think they wire money anymore. I don't know what it was. We went up to a Wawa and got the money somehow. Money like, order. from Carla's coworker Joey or something like that. And and that's I mean I didn't have a nickel that I could access. That's really embarrassing. My bank account had said no, no, you'll take everything you have. That's and right. So I didn't do. You that. were locked I, out. Mike. I'm well, not gambling. My... I'm buying a dog give me well, my we money would, yeah we would and have been fine <laughs> we would have been fine if i woke up on sunday and uh, or saturday whichever day it was and simply got in the car and drove home but no daddy did one of his uh, uh one more you know, one of his mj moves uh his morning junket and that didn't work out and by the way they they know that the cameras see the okay there's the addictive one yeah it's it's 9 30 in the morning he's up early everything. take everything don't gamble in the morning. No, well, it's does the Bruce saddest. Not does gamble Bruce in Goose the is on the move. It's yeah. sad when you gamble in the morning because you will always encounter the guy in a rumpled suit that's been there all night, yeah. and he's just he's. You he, want to make money? Gamble between seven p.m. and ten p.m. Yes, and guaranteed. Otherwise, winning. the fun you're times. Yeah, that's when they want the bells to go. They off want everybody the to fun. see everybody winning. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and somebody said that's not true. Shut up. They do. Uh, it but all. anyway, Beluga. Because Carla is concerned <laughs> that if we left Beluga behind, like we did last year with our babysitter down here, Carmen, who is part of our family now, yes. uh, she is concerned that with the amount of time we are going to be up north, that Beluga may not be there when she comes back. And you know I, what? The separation yeah. issues would probably expedite that. Well, he was separated last year and he did fine. Yeah, but that know? was a year ago. Do you think he knows when everybody's gone? They probably get used to it after a while, right? He, no, the when dogs Carla never leaves do. the house, no? this is a true story. When no. Carla leaves the house, he walks over to the door and and looks out the window. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's what he does. And he every says, well, time, how can you look you... out a window if it's a door? Because there's glass on e- either side, ass. Okay, for the for the specific Defensive. people that are out there, that's the way. It's like that. That's the way the door is set. And up. Because I, I live in a fucking mansion all right <laughs> i don't know go. my parents have that type of door they're nice yeah yeah they're very they're, they're striking really <laughs> they're no expense striking striking, <laughs> striking really now so when, when she get... comes home oh, God, what? i don't know how excited <laughs> beluga can get he in... doesn't get excited okay you see because he's every not time... capable of getting of showing excitement or all even right. wagging his tail that much anyway. wow well that's good he's, a he's piece... just tired he's blind he's yeah. deaf and he, he pads around the house and he 
when he when I take him outside to take a dump, he has one moment a day of energy because he waits for the door to open to yes. come back in. He doesn't want to be outside. What about this play, Mike? And this is probably the most humane thing I'm going to tell you about Beluga, and maybe in years. This is going to be good. If his quality of life is what you say it is now, mm-hmm. like he can't even go to the restroom correctly. Mm-hmm. No, he can go. He can go. It, he occasionally drops a dollop in the house, but he still yeah, but is outside, able to go outside and poop solid, outside. It's dollops. He's making trails. Yeah. yeah. His, his, his eyes are foggy. His eyes are foggy. He can't jump up on the bed. His right. short-term he memory really, is shot. He can't really exercise. Maybe can't it's time. Hear. Yeah, and maybe it's time for him to, you know, take that rainbow to, uh, to the other side of, of Happy Land. And why yes, are you applauding, Tony? On the this way, is why are you applauding? So great. That, you're yeah. miserable. This is so That's amazing. so great. <laughs> I think the, the reason around this. I think the reason he's applauding is the phrase. <laughs> It's time to take the rainbow yes. to the other side of Happy, Happy Land. Land. <laughs> <laughs> Which, if I heard a person say that, I would Carla, put them down. <laughs> Carl, that's Oscar. That's right. <clears throat> that's I say, Oscar let the dog live. Down. That way, you are you have made arrangements, right? It's too. It's we're going in a week. Uh, we're not there. This ain't gonna happen. I'm not gonna. This Mike, is not gonna happen in a week. The rainbow calls all times of the year. You can actually well, go in and the rainbow. The rainbow, the rainbow is calling. <laughs> The rainbow may call, but uh, but the rainbow uh, is going to be stopped by the giant rolling puppy carrier <laughs> that I saw in the back of my car yesterday. The oh, brand no. new, God knows how much that cost. No. Where we are going, where we're going Can't to uh, you know that. transport that black loaf of bread through Southwest Regional Airport to uh, to get. It's just uh, that's where we are. So he's coming. The question: Can I get my question out? Yes. Mm-hmm. We got to take a break here. Do to drug or not to drug because we think yes. he's going to be stressed out. Yes, uh, drug di- him. Yes. Diazepam. You can give him a little piece of that. It's a muscle relaxer. Half a Benadryl. Uh, that would work. No, we're not gonna wing it. We're Doctor Nix. We're not gonna Why? wing it. We're gonna. Hi, we're gonna everybody. get the proper. We're gonna get the proper medication. It's a ratio. From a I would say give him ten percent of the pill, and he'll be like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what you need to do is set up his attacks, like Elvis used yeah. to have three envelopes. Okay. Well, the- Beluga, because of Beluga's weight, Beluga will not be riding up in the passenger compartment. Down oh. below. Oh, He's in the hold. A- yeah. Yeah, you put him out. What's that look? Why are you getting? Well, I'm thinking that, that if you're less oxygen Rob, down there. Rob gave me the, the grab the collar. Yee. Well, I mean, it's it's traumatizing. It's, it's, what traumatizing. it it's traumatizing. It's going to be adults. very cold. It is. It is. Very cold. It is. Put a blanket in that in yeah. that kennel. Yeah. By the way, have you done the great joke that I would as soon as the pet carrier came in? It's go to your son Michael and say, "Hey, look, you ready to go to Maine? Got your ride." <laughs> there we go. And Frankie gets to ride up uh, between us. Fra- he's little, right? If, if he three. passes, yeah. be prepared to ask for a voucher for no less than a thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay. You know what? If he does, I'm going to be in big trouble. If it, United if probably has kind a of policy. On a great show, plan, but... Mike. A great so, plan is important. <laughs> All I wanted to ask of you two monsters was, <laughs> should I drug him? Do you think that's I a good think, play? I think you absolutely I, should. I, Pony, with, Pony, you concur? I, I think you should drug him very carefully. I'm on wiki we, right we, now. We're going to go wiki. through a bet. <laughs> we're we're going to go through a bet. Okay. Oh, then, so he's going to give Valium. Him, Valium. Uh, Valium. Diazepam would work. Okay. He, they're telling you to do that. You can, Valium. You can rub alcohol on his gums. That should put him out for at least an hour. No, that's for a kid that's teething. If you yeah. want, if you want to calm your dog without medication. Are you talking about a baby or are you talking about a dog? A dog. I'm, I'm on the dog. I'm on WikiHow. Drug your Rob, dog. Why did you make it sound like it was a baby? <laughs> that's a kid. Maybe the way you raised your kids. Well, no, that was alcohol on its gum. That was hey, like the, the speed wax are going to Disneyland. Rub, get the <laughs> get the gin to rub on rub on Julia's gum. That was a 1940s and 30s cure for teething. We never did. And 80s. Yeah, really. Yeah, my parents was, did. Yeah. They did it to us. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dad, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, and by the, that's not how my parents did it, and I'm older than you are. Yeah. And I was teething. My mother uh, put half of a uh, half of my orange juice was scotch. And as soon as you, you, you can't you get on the like, airplane, to uh, to a. He said, "Listen, I think I made a little present in my diaper. We're gonna have to fix it. Who's gonna change my diaper this time around?" I don't understand. <laughs> hey, Dad, Mr. Big Shot. Hey, Mr. Big Shot, what do you check out? Oh, God, I just spit up on my bib. Now, I have a question about airline policy. Yes. Is Beluga actually going to come out on the conveyor belt and go around in the circle? <laughs> I don't think so. I because think he's down there with all the other luggage, right? I haven't, I haven't, I haven't concluded 100% whether he's 
riding in the hold or not. He may be on the plane with us. Okay, okay. Because I think he can fit under the seat. Frankie can. Not believe Frankie him. definitely can, but yeah. I don't know about it. But we'll find out. We'll, okay. It's 20 pounds. How, 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 how many no pounds? expense. How many huh? pounds is Beluga? 300 pounds. We have to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> right, take a break. He's, 300 he's, pound pug. He's, he's triple digits. Uh, anyway, we'll take a Only break. Only one and, carrier, uh, sir. No, this is my dog. Uh, we'll come back in a minute here, and uh, let's talk about Beluga. Pony. Pony's World. Can oh, we talk hey. about Pony's World? When yeah, we come I love back? that. That'd be good. find out everything's going. We'll be right back on the Mike O'Mara Show. This week on the Michael Marabona Show. Big or small, tall or skinny, it doesn't matter one little bit because you're playing one of the greatest rock and roll songs in the history of music. Dire Straits, hit it, boys! That's right, Power 105, WAVA! Hope you're having a fantastic day. That's right. I bet justify <laughs> in a trifecta and won $13. Good energy. Yeah, Great energy. Not that good on the horse, but that's okay. There's always the Preakness, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and if you're going, don't forget to see the power Porsche on display next to the WAVA man. We'll see you there. <laughs> yeah, I cussed the Michael in the talk bonus show. The van. Because five hours a week. Sticker van. Enough. Always available at MichaelMaraShow.com. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show, uh, brought to you by Amazon. Amazon is still the best way to get what you need. However, if you want to make sure that we get credit for your Amazon purchase, you got to do it right. So listen up. This is really important to us. It is. We tell you every day there's a reason for that. You have to understand that we are trying to feed our families here, and uh, we would love you to uh, shop Amazon and uh, do the link at the top of the TMOS website. Super easy. That'll guarantee that we get credit for your purchase, so start clicking, because if you need it, Amazon has it. What is today's Amazon purchase of the day? Every household should have a pair of binoculars. You might need them for bird watching, oh, yeah. for anything. It's Peeping. just good to have them. Yeah. Peeping on your neighbors. <laughs> this is the official model of binocular that I use when I announce girls lacrosse at Tuscarora when High School. When you're peeping. Yes. Mm. These are the compact binoculars, <laughs> Scotty 10 by 24, waterproof binoculars. And here's the great What's thing. What's the brand name again? Scotty. S-G-O-D-D-E. Scotty. Scotty. S-G. Scotty. But they're 25 bucks. They are mm-hmm. fantastic. And they have the mm. widest field of vision you can see the whole field for under 30 bucks you can get a great set of binoculars and then you'll have them last year the rest of your life come with a case strap the whole deal you'd love them scott d scott d amazon really does have everything you can find that and more at the top of michaelmarishow.com get to clicking you amazonians and we thank you welcome back to the michael Mara show pony how is it How goes everything in your life? I want to know. I don't know enough. The last time we really featured you on the show, it was probably one of the worst times in my broadcast career. Uh, But that's okay. I've survived that. I still linger. There are lingering haters on me. I say lick it to those people. Lick it Uh, on a sweaty day. The last time you were really (laughs) spot. <laughs> Lick it on a sweaty day, Mike. <laughs> Lick it on a sweaty day. Last time you were spotlighted was the whole Japan debacle. Yeah. Uh, you. Yeah. By the way, I think the listeners would probably like an update as to where yeah. that all shook loose. I have what a happened guess. with that. Well, okay, hold on. Say, hold on. Stop. Uh, I didn't realize Oscar was not in the know about this. So, Oscar, you uh, you you don't know where it I stands am. Now? I'm going to guess. Okay, go ahead. Nothing's changed. Uh, you're right. Nothing just, really has happens. changed. I, I was yeah. able to basically secure some of the funding, but not all of it. But really, it, it, it was kind of a bust. And again, you know, the, this was all my fault. And again, I apologize for that whole incident. You don't need this. That's not yeah, why we're here. But securing yeah. some of the funding is actually an update. Yes, I mean it, it. It was I was able to get back a little bit. Well, that's but, some anyway because we did yeah, I mean, we but, did but go they, after this fly by night organization I, I guess, for a long I guess time. We're con- mm-hmm. What our concern can is? Can we say what get back a yeah, little I bit? Yeah, I mean, consi- come on. Can we get? Can we fill in like the get Remember, back? Remember, the whole the- point was not to be. We wanted to be. The whole point of t- telling everybody what happened is to be clear with our with our listeners. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and, so and Pony and couldn't go us, to Japan. Yeah. Because the med situation was bad for him, and then you tried to you, you, what 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 was the advice from the powers that be that arranged this trip? What did did they give you any guidance about what to do? What 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 you're going to do with the funds that you got? Are you going to put it in a trap? I don't. When you say got back, you mean got back money? Well, I I was able to. There was some 
like spending money that was included in this trip and and I was able to track down like all of that stuff the I what wasn't about able the dollars to from the trip I wasn't able to get back the flight dollars because that was something yeah, they're that not going to be able to be reimbursed what about yeah, the hotel? so you can't get that the the hotel was part of the travel company's package. package okay, so, so you weren't able to get anything back. Yeah, yeah, you know, like they wouldn't refund any of that stuff. Okay, so so, so the update mess. is nothing happened. It, it pretty much, yeah. Yes. Okay. All right, but there was a cash amount that was off that that, but that. Uh, let me clarify, no. Mike. Oh, I, I, I know what's going. Direct, I, I, I want to clarify. What, again, no need to get upset, and we can move. I'm not past getting upset. I'm not we can move upset. past. I'm right. Not getting upset. Is it? Was there a money okay, a fund can set I, up can for I, the Can list? I clarify? Oh, God, you. Know. I'm getting a headache. They gave Pony cash. Yes. To spend on the trip that yeah. was never given to the travel agency. Mm-hmm. Right. So by get That's... back, he never even had to get it back because he had it. So right. that okay. money does not count. So, so we're what, talking they about gave the you, travel agency dollars. Did you get that money before the trip started? Yes, he, it yeah. never went away, so there was no getting back anything. Well, well but what I, 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 what's going on? I, I figured out where it was. We, I worked out where it was and what happened. <laughs> where what really? Was? There, there isn't. Like I said, there hasn't been much that has changed. I just, what, I just am asking. What I'm trying to be nice. Yes, Hi, be nice. Mm. Where, where, what was? Where like where where that money was? It was there was some spending money that SDM said was coming my way yes. before okay, the so trip. Okay, so my question then, you just said yes to was did you get money before the trip? And you said yes, but no, you didn't. So you never received any money before the trip. Well, it, it was technically like, you did. Technically, it was like right before the trip. So, but you I, got I, the money. So, poorly worded. <laughs> okay, so again, you have to understand his frustration because what uh, you I just said it. made I get no it. sense. I get it, and really, what about, I'm, to, I'm just trying to understand. Yeah, what about just yeah. saying, "Look, guys, we I effed up. Rob and I weren't able to get anything back." Uh, this from the was travel not agency. designed to be a, pro- a point of thing. Yeah. So, so the money got into your hands before the trip. Correct. Like right so, before the trip, and, and that was, and, and was it the the money that had been allotted for your spending money yes, over in Japan? Yes. yes. And yes. everybody told him to keep it. That's all it was. Yeah. Everybody told him to yes, keep it. Yeah. Yeah, is that it, what happened? Exactly. And it, it came and in you through deserve to PayPal. Keep it. You're, you're a good guy yeah. And, yeah, it, and you need it. the money and you yeah. can use the money more than most. And yeah. I think that's a, a good thing. And I don't think totally I wouldn't cool. feel guilty about doing that. And what I'm, was confusing uh, I'm, was I'm behind that because you know what? I you, learned, I certainly learned yes, my list lesson yes, yes. that the listeners want you to have that. Yes, and if, right. if there's one thing, the overwhelming majority of people that provided you with that want you to have it and I wouldn't mess with that at all. I just didn't under with that that was a long way to go. Yeah, to it was very, very it made poorly no worded sense. on my part. Very confusing. Yeah, like a trip to Japan, there was a yes. communication breakdown. Absolutely. Yeah, so so you got that at least and mm-hmm. that's So, uh, but you didn't get anything back from the travel agents. No, we wasn't able to get nobody, anything out of them. Yeah, no, they, they're not going to do anything. Yeah. Uh, I would have thought that maybe they would have been able to reimburse the hotels because the hotels can be resold and by the yeah. way, so can airline tickets of but course. Not, not with not with one day. No, not, not with 24 hours. That doesn't that doesn't uh, work. So, uh so That any... was more painful than I thought it was going to be, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. And always this. The whole the whole discussion I mean that. Yeah, if you go back, for those sleuths out there, if everybody thinks we're being harsh, go back and listen to his explanation. Yeah. And but then so wonder what we're... No, I deserve like, that. Like, I deserve he had, that. Like, he had to track something down. Let's re-edit this show like Pulp Fiction. Yes. So it's out of order, and like, then like, we'll understand. Like SDM was holding something from you, and you had to you had to. But that's the way... He, he, Carmen he Diego. Co- Pony, Pony, you, it's, uh, you know, we've discussed it. You communicate defensively. Yeah. You're this always trying really not awkward. to screw up. Uh, so, so the money, as far as that you have that, it's your decision. What do you do? I'm not going to ask about that. Mm-hmm. How's everything else that you, you, in, an, in advance of this trip, you quit smoking, which is a really, is really true. big deal. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you, I asked you yesterday that, and you said you have continued to, uh, you know, stay off the smokes. Mm-hmm. How has that changed your life? And that's really the reason I put you on the, the list today. How has that changed, uh, everything about you is, uh, is your life gotten better since you quit smoking? I, I would say in in many ways it has. There's there's something that I've kind of learned um, over the journey of quitting, especially when you're quitting from being a heavy smoker, is that there is a lot of depression that comes along with this. Um, it I bet you find that with the quitting with the quitting after after you're off of like all the nicotine replacement, like the patch and the gum, and you have no more nicotine coming into your system. Your brain has been wired to a certain like level of sensitivity, 
and, and energy. And if you don't have that nicotine coming into your system, you don't have that sensitivity. And it takes more and more to get you going and, and give you energy. So and, have you done research on this as to, as to what you can do to compensate for that stage of it, to move on? Because I will yeah, tell you, a little bit. living as a kid with my mom mm-hmm. when uh, she was in her, I think, late 40s, early 50s, and she quit, Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember it was craziness. It was nuts. And anybody that's really? lived with a person quitting smoking, it's very tough. And it doesn't happen to as many people, thank God, because less mm-hmm. people smoke. But have you compensated for that? Obviously, you've read about it. I mean, uh, what are you doing to deal with that? Well, to deal with that, it's you know a little bit more caffeine. You know, have my uh, tea or coffee or something with me, and and that helps. But really, just knowing that it it's only like three months or so that you have to deal with that is enough to help me kind of get through it. And besides that, uh, other than that, you just have to kind of recognize when it's getting to you. Two questions. Do you, Mm -hmm. do you noticeably feel any depression or do you just read about it and you sort of sense it? I I noticeably, noticeably feel it. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm just more irritable a little bit. And that's good for the show though. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, And, and, and I'll, um, works for me. Yeah, I get a, a little bit more frustrated and annoyed with things. But but, but the follow up is is that in the morning, since you have quit, uh-huh. you have been happier, more outgoing, and more just you know jovial and, and, and mood. Yeah, and think who who really wins here? Uh, Miracle is your sugar glider still alive? Yes, right? yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, and, and that's weird because Miracle is still smoking. Yeah. Yes, no, she no, is. no, no, no. <laughs> I was actually I was going in the opposite direction. Where <laughs> has her cigarette wounds healed? I don't think she ever had her lung damage. Wounds. No, I'm her he, COPD. No, he would get upset and be like, "Why are you still here looking at me?" And he put out cigarettes. Oh, on yeah. Her. Oh, yeah, no, he would yeah. not. That's he would terrible. like Judd that Nelson in the playing. Breakfast Club. That is not. <laughs> that was role playing. Oh, that's that's not a belly button. Yeah, it's Judd Nelson. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, you go God. into his apartment and smell like a pork roast. <laughs> how is your? How is everything else? Is there anything good? I mean, that's that's nice. You talk about yeah, depression. Is yeah. there anything positive that's been? Yeah, happening? yeah, there is. I mean, you just you feel like uh, you, you like feel like you're accomplishing <laughs> Man, something. Stop uh, it! Sorry, sorry. You, you feel like you're accomplishing something, and, and and I feel like I've I've done something that uh, you know my my dad couldn't couldn't beat mm. this one demon. This is the one thing that Neither he could couldn't do, but he Neither he quit mind. drinking. And yeah. and that was that was amazing, and I feel like in a way I'm kind of That's the second demon my dad could. You're be. on my track. Dad didn't yeah. beat that demon though. The uh, whole uh, family, the whole Omera family, couldn't beat their demons. Uh, uh, that demons. was a bad Textbooks one. Textbooks call it the Omera demon. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I used to come down uh, the family house up in Maine, and uh, it would be my uncle, my aunt, my father, all around the table, and I. This is what I would hear like when I got to the top of the street. You Never any laughter. No. Let me move on. All the windows open. It's my impression of the sound coming out of my house in Maine. That was it. I'm happy that we we've <laughs> had a chance to see your house in Maine. Yeah, your family because it helps me you know envision it. Yeah, because yeah, I I'm picture about. walking down the hill. Yeah. and then yeah. hearing that coming. Yeah. <laughs> if I got home early enough, and I and, and I didn't stay away, it wasn't a horrible situation. It was I would, uh, especially the older I got, I would pop on down, plop on down, and uh, some of the kids were encouraged to uh, participate, and it was a blast. But most of my life, it was just uh, you know coming, hey, how you doing? Going to bed. Uh, you know, and then find the sneaked Playboy magazine. Of that course. Was from my, <laughs> of uh, course. One of my cousin's rooms. Uh, so are you doing, uh, how are you? I th- yeah, how I'm, are I'm you? doing well. I, I feel like I'm doing well. I'm I'm proud that I've been able to accomplish this. And, and there are, you know, there are, it has its ups and downs. And, and I'm overall, I'm proud of myself and I'm, I'm happy in general in life. I won't ask if it gets easier every day because I think that's too small an increment. But if you mm. think of like last week, like last Friday, are you better now than you were last Friday? As Marginally. Far as, so you do see improvements. Yeah. And, and it takes about three or four months for that kind of depression to, to go away, basically. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's well, that's good. Then, yeah. then it'll get. Yeah. And how about the uh, L U V L I F E? Yeah. Yes. Uh, where are we with that? Oh, that, I mean, that, that's not going anywhere yet. I'm still dealing All with right. this. Is it because Backpage got uh, 
torn down by the federal that government? That is. <laughs> <laughs> no. I thought that was a lady and a nickname. <laughs> yeah, oh, Backpage. I mean, that's where terrible. he would usually get, yeah. you know, his that companionship. Is terrible. And, and mm-hmm. have you, they you're, still having a, you're still having an adult beverage once in a while, correct? Oh, yeah, every night. Yeah, so every night? Yeah, every night? Yeah, well, of course. Oh, he's it's got a problem. In the evening. But no, I don't oh, think four o'clock. That's not a problem. No, five. If I call after four, it's like huh? it's five. No, I I, I I think five o'clock. Uh, Does that make it better? I think I yeah, they, they, maybe. <laughs> you you drink like my folks do, right? Like you have. Well, how many do you have a night? Oh, I'll I'll have a like one martini. I'll make it at five and I'll sip it till like nine. So oh. I'm not drinking a huge volume. See, that's that's perfect. That, He's if a you want to have that, though, look at it. But it doesn't matter. It's still the right way to do it. <laughs> but the martini tried, is 15 have ounces. Have you tried to communicate at eight o'clock with him? Yeah. Let me drink. Well, that has well, more to know, do with all I my know, medicine. I'll wait. I'll drink once medicine. a month. Off by I'll, I'll drink once a month, and I'll drink so much that one of my buddies has to take me home on a golf cart. Okay, so that's just not. <laughs> so you know, what we need I to mean, find is something in the middle. <laughs> in a golf cart. I, if if I could sit there and have two cocktails, and and I do occasionally, right? But most often, really, if you're talking about my style, I don't. Touch the stuff unless I'm really touching the stuff. Yeah. And it's not a good way to be, but it's the only way I know. You know, life in the fast yeah. lane. Mike Ooh. drinks the way most people watch season one of Stranger Things. <laughs> That's it. That's it. And uh, next week we can talk about The Handmaid's Tale because I'll try to watch the fourth episode. I know but... you're displeased. Oh, extremely so. I don't want to see two hours of uh, Elizabeth uh, Moss's face in close-up. What what is the deal? No, my cousin isn't featured this year. None of the other actors are featured. It's all her, alone in a warehouse with super Mm close-ups. It's like, give... Me a break. <laughs> Easy to shoot. I, oh God! Get I, Elizabeth Robin, Moss in the warehouse. She's watching the, Friends it's, DVDs. Yeah, it's the it's what? the sophomore suck. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. the sophomore. Yeah, watch it. What do you think? I think it sucks this year, I, Pony. Don't you? Episode one killed it. I thought. Yes. I thought right, Aunt Lydia I was amazing. She was better than ever. And then episode yes. two. I, I watched episode two yesterday, and it's all about the colonies, which is just digging dirt and putting it in a bag. So depressing. And, so and, uh, yeah, and, they're not. And yes, it's supposed anything. to be a dystopian universe. Where you know things are I've got depressing. A, but, I've got a pick know. to click, maybe a palate cleanser. What's that? Okay. I just got in, and I know I'm late to this, so if you're late to it too, you know that's fine. Atlanta, Atlanta. The, the, oh, all I've heard the it's first great. season of Atlanta is available like now it, on demand. Like it. Mm. <laughs> it it's it I really know. is good, and it's it's thought provoking, but it's also effing funny. Like it is funny. Well, the guy uh, Lucas Glover is Donald uh, Glover. Donald, Donald Glover. Glover? Yes. Yeah, he's uh, uh, he's uh, uh, in the Han Solo movie. He plays Lando Calrissian. Yeah. And, and, so he's uh, he's having a pretty good also year. Also known as the Childish Gambino. How many yes. years? Three years Atlanta's been out? Is that it? Uh, this years? is probably the, this is the, this would be the second season that's out, so th- almost three years. And mm-hmm. you, I what I didn't know, because it's written so well and Donald Glover produces it, um, is that Donald Glover got his start, like he went to NYU, mm-hmm. and then at 23 he was hired by Tina Fey to be a writer on Community. The way that he writes and actually lays out his story, like they're just, they're it's so much fun and it's so thought provoking. There's a sister show to that that's on a net. It's kind of a rip off. It came in after Atlanta, but yes. it's all about. It's not about African Americans. It's about uh, well, it's about white guy golfers. It's called Augusta. Oh, I bet <laughs> that's it's, good. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's very similar plot lines, but guys wearing like cardigan sweaters. <laughs> That's it. Augusta is uh, is uh, it's that's, on Hulu. That's the that's the Omer and him coming out. <laughs> and also, if you're looking for something to look at this weekend, Netflix has rebooted the most recent season of Arrested Development. What they did when they released it, it was one each episode focused on one character, so it was very different than the regular show. They went back and literally re-edited all the plot lines together. So it's like 15 new episodes oh, wow. oh, that are wow. really, really cool. If you like Arrested Development and you're getting ready for season five, this is a must-watch. Very good. There are TV recommendations. Mm-hmm. And my last one, the uh, positive one, would be, uh, is it Killing Eve? Is that uh, yes. Killing Eve? Yes. Mm-hmm. Killing Eve with uh, Sandra Oh. Fantastic. It's uh, not we'll as good as Augusta. <laughs> it's, uh, t- no, Augusta's fantastic. Yeah, it really is. You know? I relate. Oh, I mean, they, they, when they get attacked by the uh, Three Woods, it's, <laughs> oh, you, you, it'll kill you. Uh, we'll take a break and uh, come back with more fun uh, Oscar. Oscar's take, right? Oscar's take, Omera Show. 
Guests appearing on today's TMOS will receive none of the following. A bag of 2,000 pennies. A hand-colored picture by Jimmy Cerrito. The new cookbook, Kitchen Tips and Tricks with Trip. Favorites from the Affleck Family Farm. And a year's supply of pet excrement from the driveway of a Mar-a-Lago Estates. Instead, just like you, they have a chance to do all of their Amazon shopping through the portal at the top of MikeOmeraShow.com. And they can buy a year's subscription to the TMOS bonus show package. Don't be a tick and get that extra hour of comedy for just pennies a show at MikeOmeraShow.com. And now back to more mirth and whimsy. Here's Mike. <laughs> God, he's got it, doesn't yeah. he? I love Jim Here's Amato. Mike. Thank you very much. Welcome back to the show. Brought to you by Pro Flowers. We all know that Mother's Day is coming up, but doesn't mom deserve more than just one day? Damn right she does. Well, when you send her Pro Flowers for Mother's Day, she is guaranteed to have at least seven days of fresh, beautiful flowers. The ones I sent to Mrs. O'Mara lasted and lasted and lasted, and they Forever. are still in the house. And I can't tell you how many days ago, but it was well over seven days, and they still hang in there. Right now, our listeners can send 100 colorful blooms with a free glass vase for just $19.99, plus shipping and handling. Just use the promo code TMOS. With fresh flowers and guaranteed delivery, plus unique vases and accessories that mom will love, Pro Flowers has everything you need for perfect Mother's Days. It's absolutely the best. The best way to get your Mother's Day shopping done for all the moms in your life. Just choose the delivery date you want, and it's guaranteed. You can even, can they still do it for Mother's Day? Can it's they like, get her done? Mm -hmm. uh, watch out. Mother's Day is this Sunday, the day after tomorrow. Don't forget to show mom how much she means to you. Send her 100 colorful blooms with a free glass vase for just $19.99 plus shipping and handling. Visit proflowers.com. Click on the blue microphone in the upper right-hand corner and use the code TMOS. That's proflowers.com and the code TMOS. And now... It's time for Oscar's Take. Oscar's Take. A review and comment on the news of the day that may or may not affect you as only our Bolivian bloviator can do it. The opinions expressed are solely Oscar Santana's and do not reset. Excuse me. <laughs> the opinions expressed are solely Oscar Santana's and do not represent the views of the Michael Mayer Show, its listeners, or the majority of right-thinking citizens of the United States. And now, Oscar's Take. Oscar's Take. So here's the question, Oscar. Uh, if you could eat any food every day Without suffering the consequences, what would it be? Here are the 10 most common answers mm. people gave in a new survey. And uh, you are, because it is Oscar's take, Oscar's only you, take. Oscar, <laughs> only you will be able to comment on every one of them. I will go 10 to 1. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Chips at number 10. Mm, no. Uh, cake at number 9. No. Uh, 8 uh, is donuts. Ooh. Mm. No, no. I had a bad incident on the way back from Florida. Uh, number seven, I uh, yeah, he went into diabetic shock when we uh, gave him all He those. was cute, though, the way he curled up. <laughs> number seven, French fries. Oh, I was known as a fry guy as a kid. I could probably sustain Not myself now? my entire life. Uh, I'm working on, you know what? I'm lying because I went to McDonald's yesterday. Got a large number one. Mm -hmm. And those large fries, man, I could go back and get some more. Fries are great, but they can't sustain you. After a while, the salt and pepper taste starts burning your tongue. So far, there's nothing Pepper? that's jumping off the page at no, you, though. Now, by the way, uh, uh, quick sidebar, Mike. I, I know yes. this is the Oscar, I mean, Oscar's take <laughs> that uh, Diego. Oscar Rossi. All this food is reminding me that he, he's a guy with, that gets the munchies all the time. Yeah. And it's his birthday today. So it happy is. birthday to Adrian Garcia. Ooh. Yay. Oh, it's, it's Diego's yes. birthday yes. today? Yes. yes. Oh. Number six, carb-heavy yes. stuff like pasta or bread. No, you'd sleep all the time. Never. Uh, never, never, Number never. five, uh, no, is it? No, seriously, is it really? It really yeah. is. Yeah. Birthday mm -hmm. day? Oh, well, let me yeah. just say, uh, number five is chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate would hurt my esophagus. Can't do it. Can't but do hold it, sidebar. It. He, you said in the setup. You're no doing a sidebar, too? So, yeah. I want to do sidebar. Sidebar, happy but birthday, Diego. You said no consequences. So your <laughs> esophagus would allow you to eat it uh, in this I'm not world. a big chocolate fan. Okay. All right. So far, he, we've gotten through yeah. five items yeah. on the list and nothing's... Uh, All right. Uh, meanwhile, Rob Spiewak has to stay seated. <laughs> 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 uh, number four is Mexican food. Oh, oh, the food of his people. This is how you win, Mike, because <laughs> Mexican food could be a chimichanga. It yes. could be uh, uh, it could be tortilla chips and salsa. Enchilada. Right now, Mexican food, because of the sheer options that you couldn't get bored on, right? right. You have different options for the day. I think I could definitely one. win. Mm. Yes. Oh, and Mexican Coke. Number three, mm. ice cream. Ooh. No, ice cream has no nutrients. Can't do it. Wow, you're a healthy guy. Number two, burgers. 
Yes, burgers. Especially okay. if you've got an Angus beef burger, not the one from uh, or, if, or or Kobe steak at a fine burger joint. Where's Where's Kobe's? Oh, you mean like a regular like uh, restaurant? Burger. Restaurant burger. All right, and number one, pizza. Pizza. I had pizza last night. Domino's. <laughs> yeah, you did. Uh, Domino. You can, Domino's w- delivers. Would uh, that be as important to you as burgers? You know, it's the human touch, Mike, not just the food. Very when you talk art. to the delivery man and he recognizes you, as he says to, he told me last night, he said, "Oh, you haven't ordered in a while." <laughs> I, oh, said, wow. I said, "I don't know if that's a good thing, but I'm flattered that you remember me, sir." He knows <laughs> like, you. Yeah. He By knows. the way, he was lying about the ice cream because your go-to is that Baskin Robbins Jamoko chip. It is. That's when uh, uh, ex-girlfriends cheat on me with uh, professional wrestlers. Yeah, but it happens. Oh, yeah, that doesn't you happen never all have the time. To no. Drown your happen sorrows once. in cream. Uh, the survey was done for some made-up holiday called National Eat What You Want Day, which is today. So yeah, yeah. If you're salivating after that, let's, Mexican uh, food gets you as many options as possible. That's right. Sounds like Mexican food was. Is yes. uh, number one, uh, Oscar. Since Mother's Day is on Sunday, here's how seven other countries from around the world celebrate it. We'll open this up to everybody. Okay. Uh, I got uh, I got the seven countries that celebrate it this way. Number seven, France. Mother's Day takes place on the last Sunday in May or the first Sunday in June, and the French often celebrate with flowers and flowered shaped cakes. That's pretty standard. We will right? not really decide when it is until it is come upon us. Maybe June, uh, maybe May. Also, sw- yes, flowered shaped cake. Yeah, mm. that seems like a lot of work. But so pretty, so pretty. Send them Sherry's berries. Use the uh, code TMOS. La berry S- de Sherry. Sweden celebrates the last Sunday in May, and it's similar to the U.S. version. Uh, breakfast in bed, homemade cards. Uh, Swedish Red Cross also collects money by selling red plastic flowers to help mothers and children in need. Can That's I, nice. Can I ask you guys a question about Mother's Day yeah. or Father's Day? Mm-hmm. When you get a handmade card, yeah. when does it stop being cute and you realize your kid's just cheap? Uh, probably 13. Okay. I'd say even younger than that. I'd say 10. 10? <laughs> yeah. In this BWAC household. Oh, what a lovely homemade card. Get to the Hallmark store! I actually uh, <laughs> was reminded by Carrie this week that it was about two years ago that Robert signed his Mother's Day card, Happy Birthday, because he was in such a hurry <laughs> that he didn't even get into the zone of Mother's Day. Beautiful <laughs> flowered Mother's Day card. Happy Birthday, Mom! In Thailand, Painful. Mother's Day uh, is celebrated on August 12th, which is the birthday of uh, Sirikit, the Queen Mother of Thailand. They celebrate with parades and other festivities. That's she's not, box. Uh, she's box. Cool Siri Cruz. Uh, <laughs> Ethiopia celebrates by uh, with a three-day festival called Antro <laughs> Oh, Ant A N T R O S H T. Antrosh. Antrosh. An- oh, Antrosh. Oh, Antrosh. I made it like a space age word. <laughs> Antro shit. I'm sorry. Say that. <laughs> Which is uh, usually held in the fall. Uh, Antrosh celebrates typically involves singing. They're all. Sounds messy, Mike. Yeah. Uh, Mother's Day in Mexico always takes place on May 10th. Lots of cities basically shut down as people Dia take de la moms madre. out to eat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you, did you yeah. have anything big in Bolivia? I've been, uh, no, I've been in Mexico City, though, for Mother's Day with my mom. Really? They it's actually, a big deal. If you think that we do it, Mother's Day big here, they shut down. It's a federal holiday. It's what it says right yeah. here. They shut down. Brunches, wow. lunches last five mm-hmm. hours for mom. Uh, in Great Britain, uh, it's known as Mothering Sunday, and it takes place on the full <laughs> Sunday of Lent because its origin has ties to Christianity. One traditional Mothering Sunday food is Simnel cake, which is a light fruit cake made with marzipan. Ah, there for Mothering Day? Mothering. Yes. Mothering, mothering Day. day. Mothering in. Soup. Mothering in. And Pony, in Japan, <laughs> Mother's Day uh, didn't become popular until after World War II. Mm. It's celebrated on the second Sunday in May, and people typically give their mothers red or pink carnations, uh, which symbolize sweetness and purity. Oh, they probably lovely. they probably established the holiday to distract from the fact they lost the war. <laughs> You're listening to <laughs> oh, Rob Jesus. Stake. I'm sorry, Oscar's Oscar Stake. Here we go. <laughs> Rob Stake. Oscar, this is near and dear to my heart. Boston pitcher David Price has been terrible over his last few starts, and earlier this week he was diagnosed with carpal tunnel. There are a lot of things that can cause it, but there's been talk that it could have been caused by video games. Yeah. Because everyone on the team is obsessed with Fortnite. Uh, You know that one? Yeah, I know Fortnite. Robert's game. Um, Red used- Sox manager isn't buying it. He says he talked, but uh, David doesn't think so either, but he's going to stop playing at the ballpark uh, with the multi-million dollar picture. Problem. What's your, what's uh, your um, take on this? A couple things. You, If you're a pitcher, you work with your hands, and it's it's all it, it's really mind and body control, right? Sure. As psychology, the stress that's put on a ball player in general is nothing like we've all felt, a pitcher especially, mm-hmm. right? 
when you think about how you uh, work your day to day, and this is from like a performance coach, you have to get as much stress out of your life in your real life, right? Than your professional life. I'm, that, that goes with family, that goes with emotions, that also goes with games. Those games are so immersive, and I'll tell you this. like you, I get an adrenaline. That they, a, a, are you saying they cause stress? They cause stress because you're in a, what is this, a, a battle that you're fighting out of your computer. And so it's, a, a professional athlete should, should not, not be, be anywhere Should near. not be adding that stress. No, I like that Should not answer. be adding that stress. He can't be life. flying around in a school bus with a hot air balloon no, but, on it. But when you're trying to survive <laughs> and beat the game. That's only how they get dropped off. <laughs> then you're fighting. It's, okay. It is a very, yeah. you know what? There is a lot of very dandy things. It's a very violent game, but then there's yeah. a lot of rainbows and school buses and hot air balloons. It's it's peculiar, this game, Fortnite. All right, so you're saying no for uh, Apple. No, don't add it to yourself. And don't make fun of Carpal Tunnel. I, uh, Todd actually had it years ago, mm-hmm. and I made fun of it because I didn't understand it. And then he right. told me that it was it was debilitating. Yep. That's good. All right. I like yeah. that take. That's uh, Oscar. Oscar's Listen, Oscar's take. take. Oscar's Finally, take. Oscar. And Todd Glitter- gained a lot when he was younger. A lot. Did he really? Yeah. Oh, all right. All right. Well, we'll have him on political persuasions. Maybe we can talk about mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Here you go. Hey. Uh, <laughs> hey. This is the final on o- o- Oscar's take. Oscar's take. Glitter take. butts. Oscar's take. Oscar's, Oscar's take. take. Glitter butts have been dubbed the newest summer trend. And while it will most definitely add some sparkle to your life, the risque look isn't for the faint of heart. Or for those interested in sitting down, sequins and glitter have become synonymous with music festival season, and people are getting very creative when it comes to how they are adorning themselves with it. Last year, festival goers started doing away with their crop tops and bikinis and opted to cover their chests in glitter and jewels. What is known as glitter boobs or disco tees has paved the way for this year's (laughs) glitter butts, a festival look that is far more dramatic whether you opt to play it safe or wear a thong and go completely or go completely underwear free. The uh, the look involves layering glitter sequins and even jeweled embellishments on your butt, so your bottom is completely covered. What mm-hmm. say you, Oscar Santana? I took a deep dive into this on Wednesday, Mike, when the story <laughs> broke, and I said, "Well, let's let's look at what the uh, what the, the gals are doing these days, right?" Yeah. Um, and for those of you not in the know, you probably saw this uh, in, I would say, the the mid-2000s where you could actually bejewel your cell phones. Yes. Uh, yes. The adhesive and the technology has come such a long way. Now you can bejewel your bodies, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. And this isn't the type of, um, uh, like, a freak fest that you see in Key West where right. you have people naked and topless and, and mm-hmm. nipples everywhere. This everywhere. is actually a classy <laughs> look. And so much go. so that if that happened in the city, I don't think you can get arrested. I think that if you went, uh, a guy who's been to many uh, music festival, uh, right. a wet T-shirt is more uh, obnoxious and in your face than this. Than the glittering. Than the glittering. The glittering almost looks like you're wearing tight, um, uh, maybe a tight. Like yo- hot pants? T- t- tight yoga pants. Okay. That, but just on the ass Do you think right? we'll see it at the beach this season? I think you'll see it. I think you'll see it on the right girls. Now, oh, it could go wrong on the go. wrong girls. And It'll you probably be more it. expensive with more jewels. Yeah, yeah a lot of glitter. Say, um, next year, Mike, next summer is when it's going to hit Ocean City. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> there you go. So you yes. give it a thumbs yeah, up. I think we all do. If you can I wear w- thongs, this is a little more modest because it covers some skin up. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Wear the thong. And you never know when that uh, sequin is going to get in the wrong you know, oh. cavity. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll take a <laughs> Brush break. Brush your teeth and, uh, every day. Okay, thank you very oh much. Breath. Thank you, Rob. We'll take a break. <laughs> Come back with the audio vault right here on the Michael Berry Show. Guess who, baby? Nikki Diamond. <laughs> I'm here, but you know what? I never left. Just like football, I'm yeah. always there, there lurking. <laughs> Free agency, the draft, oh, OTAs, yeah. mini camp, right. preseason, fantasy, playoffs, Super Bowl. Nikki Diamond, just like the Mike O'Mara show, is always here when you need it. And even when you don't, <laughs> it's a sure thing. Light him up. We'll be back on the show soon. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky Diamond, I can't wait. Football soon. soon. You, Very you soon. Know, you never know. Uh, welcome back to the show brought to you by our DMOS bonus packages. I love me, Nikki. I do. I really do. Makes me laugh. Uh, it's the worst time of the year. Yeah. Your CPAP mask is ill-fitting. Your sound bar is inadequate. Your dog is constantly eating paper towels. And Ted Koppel thinks you're a pain in the ass. <laughs> what will you do? What will you do? Well, you dim-witted pimple popper. How about the TMOS bonus show? The bonus show is an extra hour of TMOS comedy each and every week that will change you from a cranky Yankee into a never-ever-blue Jay. 
<laughs> or even a Minnesota twin with a grin. Both great. <laughs> La. Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, <laughs> living on a prayer. <laughs> Just go to MikeOmeraShow.com and click the bonus banner. <laughs> it makes a great gift. I don't know how many we're selling based on these commercials, but I love reading them. <laughs> Spread some cheer, bonus show style. Get happy by giving back. You'll get access to all our bonus content, and you'll be helping TMOS to truly a win-win. So please quit sucking, and we thank you. And now, without further ado, open up the vault. Rob Spiewak. Oh, you know what they say about that Rob Spiewak. Your buddy Rob Spiewak is the biggest pain in the ass I've ever known. Okay, we all agree on one superhero movie. We all love Deadpool. Mm -hmm. And Deadpool 2 is coming out, and they're starting to do the mini videos and stuff that go viral to promote it. There was a line in the first Deadpool where he said that uh, David Beckham, he complained about David Beckham's voice. Yes. And so he released the video, Ryan Reynolds in the Deadpool outfit goes to David Beckham's house to apologize. So this clip starts with the original insult, and it ends with him going to his house apologizing to the real David Beckham. You ever heard David Beckham speak? It's like he mouth sexed a can of helium. I am so sorry. So, so, so. <laughs> Mariachi band. <laughs> Tickets for the cup. I can't wait to not watch Italy play the Netherlands. I can't stay mad at you. Healing hugs. There we go. Oh, God. Finally, that feels so good. You smell amazing. Like cinnamon in manhood. Let's never let go. No, 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 no. We should let go. Let's let go of this burden together. Just wonderful. <laughs> no. Okay. What was you apologizing for anyway? Well, just the bit in Deadpool with the, the voice. Doesn't ring a bell. What did you think I was apologizing for? I mean, there's a list. Green Lantern. Yep. R.I.P.D. Horrible. Selfless. Terrible. Blade Trinity. Oof. Bolt neck. <laughs> Sorry. I yelled. I raised my voice. I lost control. Please open up. I'm looking forward to Deadpool. God, he is so funny. He is <laughs> such a natural. Wow. Love it. All right. So have you ever been to an actual rodeo? I, I have. wanted to. It's on my list. I'd In like Mexico. to go. You've been? Really? Of all places. Because really? this yeah. tape, and I put this no on. rules. Put it on our Facebook where the bull <laughs> comes out of the middle and goes, give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> the bull actually got a kidney from his own cow. So, That's very no, exciting. No, very this exciting. rodeo, I the only really notion I have of rodeo is watching the show Baskets. Or so, Eight Seconds. Eight Seconds is a good movie as well. So I put, this, I put this on our Facebook page. The best I can tell, the challenge is a bunch of guys stand in the middle of the rodeo ring and a bull charges them, and the person who stays there longest wins. It's like a game of chicken, all right? No we, good can come of this. <laughs> this guy wins... But in winning, he gets gored by the bull Ooh. twice. The first time he's hit, you've got to go to our Facebook page and look at this. I think he flies about 15 feet. That's wow. how hard he gets hit. You and then survive? the bull. Don't know. They didn't put okay. that on the tape. But then the bull goes and gets him again and like scoops him off the ground and throws him again. Here's the audio. But to do yourself really, to do yourself what you owe, owe yourself, go to our Facebook what? page. To get yourself do what your, you deserve. You said do yourself. It's and do yourself. Show. That's right. Uh, go to our Facebook page and look at it because it's incredible. And the bull is literally doing the thing where it scratches the ground before it charges, like in a cartoon. Right. I like the headline. I love the people laughing and cheering because it's Is this rodeo. in the United States? Yes. The headline wow. is Bull Obliterates Human. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. So Did we I don't find know out? what Did goes he live? On. Did the guy live? I'm looking right now. See, okay. that's the thing is I can't believe this stuff goes on. I was I, shocked. I don't know how they'd be able to get legal clearance to do it. Okay, meanwhile. They, they're wearing pads. Let's be, be let's clarify. Release. They're wearing, they're wearing, some of the guys are wearing pads. All right. All okay. right. Well, that'll make all but the it, difference. But it's still, it's still. I mean, problem. unless you're dressed up like the guy that's training German shepherds, it's not really going to help you because you're <laughs> flying through the air. Meanwhile, Dateline Canada, Mike, some guy had his cell phone video out. It Congratulations to the Winnipeg Jets, by the way, for uh, going to the uh, Western Conference Finals against Las Vegas. Way yeah. to go. That's one way to get into our country. 
Okay, come on. Let's okay, go. Go on. Um, anyway. <laughs> in Canada, obviously it was some sort of marital discord or maybe just a nasty breakup. These people are fighting. One's in the window, one's on the floor or the ground. It's about 19 floors up. They throw a sofa out the window at the guy. <laughs> Here's the sound of fighting people and a sofa being thrown from the 19th floor. <laughs> Just on the street. God. See, there's no winner Should have there. help? I guess she had a little help, right? I, it was from a distance. She just might have Can been I a sturdy lady. Can I hear that one lady. again? I sure. want to hear that one again. She might have just been a sturdy lady. All right. It's going to be okay. It's just a remote. Just a remote broadcast. Sorry, I was running late. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Congratulations. You remember the kid from, uh, it was a couple months ago. He was uh, videotaped in Walmart yodeling. Yes. And then, like, huge, huge viral. And then, like, two days later, he was on the Ellen show. Mm -hmm. Do you know that in two months, that kid landed a spot on the Grand Ole Opry? It takes people an entire career. Elvis auditioned Uh and didn't make it on the Grand Ole Opry. Listen to him at the Grand Ole Opry. This kid has got it. I got a beat like autumn blue. And my baby say goodbye. How old Lord, is he? I, I think I he's like nine or ten. All I do is sit and sigh. I heard all that last song. Did you say goodbye? Him. It's going to be bad when he turns about 14 and yeah. he goes, I got the blues. <laughs> 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 anyway, so good for him. I think that's pretty cool. And I love the fact that the Grand Old Opry is still a thing. That's been around yeah, but forever. I, I, you know, in the great tradition, I hear he's already drinking. <laughs> so <that's, laughs> which only like, means he's ready for a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's close with this. We mentioned Donald Glover earlier in the show. Yes. He plays Lando mm-hmm. in the new solo movie, which opens next week. Here he is talking about how he deals with haters on the internet because the Star Wars universe is, is full of people that love mm-hmm. to hate. Here's how he deals with haters. I loved this. You're the kind of person that you see one negative thing and it makes you feel bad? More like I see one negative thing and I track that person down. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I'll go, go into their Instagram and be like, you're not so great. <laughs> like, no, that baby's not even that cute. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's your magic audio vault. Have a great weekend, everybody. Oh, we've all thought about it. There you go. <laughs> I have thought about more baby disses than any human being on the face of the planet. There's a couple yeah. couple ugly ones out there. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, you think that about my interview? <laughs> oh, great looking family. Oh, lucky man. <laughs> lucky man. Anyway, uh, that's it, people. Thanks. It's true. I never do it, though. No. I'll think it. Uh, thanks for joining us for the Michael Marriage Show. What an interesting way to end the week. Don't forget to listen 24-7 on our new play pod app. Are those your children? All snail mail for the show can be sent to the Michael Marriage Show, Box 32101, Washington, D.C., 2007. Uh, Each day, on average, 96 Americans lose their lives because of a gun. Check out Every Time for Gun Safety and find out how you can end the tragedy of gun violence for good. For Oscar Santana and Rob Spiewak, this is Mike O'Mara inviting you to join us once again for the best part of your day, the Mike O'Mara Show. Have a nice week and happy Mother's Day to your mothers. And we'll see you Monday. Bye-bye, everybody. So long. Ciao, ciao. Before you go, please make a mental note. Today's show was made possible by the TMOS bonus packages. You can secure yours right now by going to MikeOmeraShow.com.